As the Summer Olympics close tonight in Rio, athletes from 176 countries are gearing up for the Paralympics, which begin in Rio just over two weeks from now. Jamie Yukas has the story of an American Paralympian who is inspiring the next generation. Wheelchair basketball is fast-paced and fierce with full contact hits, sprints, and three-point shots. Just because you have some type of physical uh, limitation or disability, you still can um, achieve or even compete at a high level. For 27-year-old Brian Bell, this year is the beginning of a new journey. The Alabama native will represent the United States in his first Paralympic Games. Bell lost his leg after a train accident when he was 10. After receiving a prosthetic, Bell began to play wheelchair basketball. I tried a bunch of different types of sports, um, basketball, football, track, all types of things, and I just fell in love with the basketball. Nice to meet you, Callie. And now, before going for gold in Rio, Bell took a break from practice to give back to those who made his childhood dream possible at Triner's Hospitals for Children, the organization that helped him 17 years earlier. You're welcome. Uh, hopefully being a, a fellow Striner's child as well kind of shows him that you know, life is not over. I want to kind of work with kids with disabilities or even kids without disabilities and hopefully coach them, help them get into sports so they have, you know, an extra avenue uh, for something to do when they're younger. Amanda Hogel is a recreational therapist. Adaptive sports is really critical, not just physically, it's great cardio exercise and helps with strengthening muscles, but also socially and emotionally for our kids. Yes! I think it's so much fun. It is my favorite thing about coming here to Shriners, and I always look forward to doing it. Brittany Fodick broke her back in a car accident when she was 10. In addition to occupational therapy, she has been dancing and playing wheelchair basketball to get back on her feet. When I saw them, it made me really motivated to do more stuff that I can do, because there's not very many Olympians that have a disability like he does. Pushing himself while carrying the hope of future generations of Paralympians back home. Well, thank you for the gift. I'm gonna, I'll, actually, I'm going to take it to Rio with me. Jamie Yukis, CBS News, Rio de Janeiro. Cheering for Brian, Brittany, and Team USA.